Hey you guys, I'm due for my tune overview for August 2015. Uh, so this is, it's right before reset after Class Wars Finals. So I'm going to show all my dimensions, what I had set up for that, and uh, kind of go over the, the main places where I was gaining BR and resistances and things like that for this month. Um, and uh, I can sort of show my, my Class Wars setup as well because I was not, I only used my Dark Pet for the last fight to, to boost my BR. And so uh, really I was using Poseidon and so I recently made this guy uh, he's really you know water pets are not great PvP pets as far as uh, especially single PvP uh, they're, they're great as a group support and all of those things but I was really trying to make it work as a single PvP pet and I think there are some players that successfully do this but maybe not under a class war setting where everybody is buffed up so much um especially you know against odin it was not faring as well as i would have hoped and um and i think there's only so much that you can reduce someone's resistances i you know i was talking to strife uh, mr strife and he is sort of like my uh, resistance guru he knows a lot about how resistances work in this game and um but i think we're in a little bit of a disagreement about how um how reduce res works you know um, my reduce res and compared to a lot of other players uh, water resistance should have had them at you know minus a few thousand water resistance and so um, the fact that I wasn't able to deal huge huge numbers really shows that um, there's there there is definitely a, a defense component to things and um, that there might only be so much of a bonus that you can get uh, but anyway, so I was sort of having fun with this. I, I had a great time in Class Wars this time around. Um, it was really, really tough, but it was a complete zoo. Um, you know, uh, there's so many different uh, sylphs out there, and so um, I think the mages were really having a lot of fun because of the pressure of, of such huge resistances. Everybody had to go with sort of non-traditional choices unless they were, you know, the top people with Odins, like like Lala, or like Ray, who has some advantage with the a wind self which people couldn't really protect against dark and light for Odin and also protect against Ray very well um, unless you're Lala but um, but yeah so it was really fun um, otherwise Nat uh, I think Nutella only got one extra banana this month I think that's the only upgrade I did to her and I'm going to just stop um, putting advanced Mahra into into my Hecate um, I think the main reasoning there, and I think, you know, everybody wants me to get an Odin. I get asked all the time, when are you going to get a Loki? When are you going to get an Odin? And at this point, I really just cannot personally justify it. I think the cost is huge. The merge cost is going to put me out. Um, so it's going to put me out 600 bucks, so 60,000 balance. Um Just for the fuse cost. And then if, if you start talking about Sylph... Uh, self skills it's 6,000 for the cheapy ones and uh, and 15,000 for the more expensive ones and uh, and Krishna has done some some articles about uh, future patches and how uh, buying self skills will be different and so I think I can maybe take advantage of that so maybe not have to pay as much for self skills as the players who have it have Odin now are paying and um, and also I'm hoping basically to uh, to hopefully either get a, not free but mostly free uh, Loki seal and see if that I can build up an Odin Odin that way and the, the main way that I'll do that I'll show the bags is uh, where is it Oh, come on. Oh, there they are. So I have 254 voodoo hammers. Probably in the future, there'll be other big spenders where, um, you know, I want to buy something and they'll give some vo voodoo hammers for that. Um, I imagine that uh, voodoo urn or some rendition of it are going to have uh, either Odin or Loki seals. I don't really want an Odin seal because then I have to, you know, somehow acquire some insane amount of advanced sepulchrum but uh but if i get a loki seal then uh then i can build it up with regular sepulchrum and depending on what color it is regular mahara and then um hopefully make a an odin that way 
and I'm losing my voice a little bit. I am wiped out this week. I am visiting my family, so I really, I basically been gaming in the wee, wee hours, um, and then just trying to have a good time with my family. Uh, as far as t resistances go, oh, I should switch these out just to show what I was. I I took out my wind resistance once I fought Ray, so. Um, Okay, and so yeah, uh, with a, with a dark pet I have a bit more dark resistance, but if I go ahead and put on Poseidon, which was the main sylph that I was using, then my light and dark resistance are at 2,540, and, uh, and my wind resistance is... that seems wrong. My wind resistance was over 2,000. Hmm, what could have happened? Well, regardless, these are my dimensions. I had two e expert lights, two expert darks, and one expert wind. Um, you know, I I had these three at prelims already done, or no. I had... I had these two done, and then this dark one, I had some of it done. And, uh, and so that went... Alright, um, you know, the, the biggest problem is that I just need, you know, like one extra dimension to really have better resistance against Ray 7. Um, you know, Ray 7 and Lala both have uh, well over... Lala had just as much uh, reduced res as I, I do, and so um, I'm at 2,508, which is just crazy. Um, I have three level nine will crystals. I was kind of keeping those on the down low. I was, I had sevens at one point Then I had, I put in eights just because I figured whatever. And, uh, and then I was sort of just keeping the nines away because, um, I didn't want to show how much reduced res I had. Um, maybe I actually should have shown it and people would have stacked up more dark resistance, but I don't know. I, I don't think people really saw me or anybody else using a dark pet as as a big threat um as long as they stacked up enough resistances uh so you, we def definitely did not see nearly as many uh dark pets as we usually do in class wars so those are the resistances in the the expert dimensions the the dimensions are just so crazy and um with five experts fully completed um I have, I'm, I'm getting 27,000 crystals tomorrow, so that's going to be really nice, and 9,000 will crystals, so um, definitely replenishing my crystals after that big event, um, so I'm looking forward to some more rewards from that. Oh, the tell back on. And as far as the kid goes, nothing has really changed there, his BR just goes up as my BR goes up. Um, I might have enchanted this gear a little bit here and there. But otherwise, uh, nothing too huge. And um, grab these real quick. And so otherwise, I guess we can kind of just go down the tabs. Um, so nothing new really here. Uh, clothing ID, you know, I've, I've definitely gained a, a little bit of BR there. Um, just from... I. I did have a good chunk of cores from that clothing event, so I did push to try and get some more stars on things, and then, you know, some new outfits and stuff, so I actually have a decent chunk of new BR from that. Cards, I have shown this in other videos, but I have pretty good cards for group arena, and uh, they're also pretty decent for, for battleground, but not as good as my group arena ones. And uh, what else? Ring is up to level 9 with Shock because we get a lot of free materials from uh, the dimensions and stuff. Medallion is at rank 4. And I think this is what I had last month. I don't quite have enough Trunkions. I probably need either another winning wager at at, at um, Titan War or a couple of Titan Wars to, uh, to be able to rank this up to, to rank 5. Um, the Halidom in the, the artifact, you know, I still have a blue artifact. I could easily make this epic. Um, I missed an opportunity to get a lot of divine energies for pretty cheap. Um, just because I was hoping to, to use coupons and stuff. And anyway, I, I missed an event and I was really disappointed about it. So one of the huge places where, um, Lala, Ray, Solara, I think Chili might have it too. A lot of the top mages, 
that they really have me on BR is in HP, unless they change up their gems and don't have many HP gems. But um, big time on the defenses, um, MDef, PDef, uh, especially PDef, uh, they have a lot more than I do. Actually, MDef they do too. But anyway, so they're they're really beating me on the survival uh, stats, and uh, and that's kind of disappointing. I would have would have really liked to to upgrade this halidom uh so now i just sort of have to wait it out you know there's really no way for me to collect enough stuff from from elemental forest so uh, we'll see if i can get an opportunity to, to to get some more divine energies and make that legendary um otherwise you know again sylph tabs nothing huge there aside from the poseidon astrals haven't been able to work on astral refinements just because I was spending so much gold on on getting good dimensions and stuff. At some point I would like to make this maxed out and get a level 10 determination and maybe a, a level 10 illusion as well. Uh, what else? Skills? Kid? I mean, not much else. As far as the mount goes, um, you know, there's... There's the regular training, which I haven't really done much of, and then there's the special training on these these other mounts, and uh, and so I did level one of, of on on the Nirvana Phoenix, and uh, and these give huge BR. So I even even though they have the Halidom, um, I'm just convinced that some of the other mages have done more of this. Uh, stuff for Nirvana Phoenix than than I have uh, you know I asked around and nobody seems to to want to use their whips but I don't know how else they have so much more BR on me um, you know you know obviously I'm like a, a top player it's not like I feel lacking in BR but then sometimes I look at their stats and I just am blown away um, I thought it must have been just like the bug from Titan War but these these guys really have a lot more BR than I do. Lala's sitting at 4 million. So, here's the winner of Class Wars. Of course, a big congrats to her. I'm very happy for her. I mean, she's she's done a really amazing thing this month, which is when uh, her server won uh, uh, Chaos War, and then her team won Titan War, and now she just won Class War, which I think is, you know, basically a a wartoon hat trick in my opinion um so i i can only imagine that she'll win more and but yeah so a good chunk of hp on me but probably well okay she actually has quite a bit of hp in there and then defense a good chunk on me so like 13k m def a whole lot i mean like 38k m def on me this magic attack seems wrong but maybe she's missing an astral or something I don't know. Crit? I mean, nothing. Okay, so maybe the player stats don't seem that crazy to me. Maybe it more had to do with Odin than I thought it did. This rank 5 medallion isn't going to make, I mean, that huge of a difference. But I definitely want this, this legendary halidom. There's some other players, though. Um... I feel like Ray's attack stat is almost unattainable, but... Oh, uh, you know what? I can't even compare. You know, uh, Ray is almost always lower than I am in the rankings, but um, I think that she doesn't put her Windsylph on for, for rankings. Like, she puts something else on at night, maybe her Electro or something like that. But anyway, so um, my stats are still competitive. It just seems like everybody has an edge that I can't obtain. At least in player stats. In resistances, I am leaps and bounds ahead of the vast majority of players. Except for the people I lost to, like Lala and Ray. Uh, so, anyway, I think that's the most of it. Uh, clothing? Yeah, I mean, I did the video on, on getting these level 10. Not quite there on the wings. Um, you know, I could do Golden Road for, for, the, uh, for the charms, but... Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to muster up the will to spend Balins on that. You know, I you know, people haven't been seeing my Balins again, usually I hide them, uh, just because uh, I think I get some unnecessary number of comments about how many Balins I have um, whenever I do show them, but uh, but I mean, I do have a lot of Balins, but again, you know, 
anytime anybody sees like 60k balance on my tune, they're like, make a fuse sylph. A fuse sylph is way, way more than just the 60k balance to, to buy it. You have to get the skills to make it even remotely worth it. Um, you know, there are things that you want to do to build it up and upgrade. It's a much, much bigger investment than I think people really realize they're getting themselves into. Um, and so, so yeah, that is not just the only cause. It's it's way more than that six hundred dollars, and um, and I'm just really not willing to do it. Um, so my the main place that I have been working is really on those will crystals, um, and getting other basic things like mounts and stuff. So I can show. Um, actually, I don't think I've done this today, but uh, uh, here's where I've been getting my will crystals. So you can just. Sort of refresh. I might only do like a, a little today, just because it's getting late and I didn't wasn't able to get a lot of free refreshes. But you can use bound balins here and uh, and try and find some will crystals. I usually at least get a level five or something like that. And so you can buy these up. I'm mean, gonna have a ton of bound balins and. Also, so here I got a will crystal um, if it costs some material so mystery stones are always the best it'll drop the cost the most um, but Daru, Kyanite, things like that it'll drop the amount of um, bound balance that you need to, to, to buy I think at max it's like 3500 for these um, so I buy up these will crystals and um, just hoard them up and uh, hopefully use them at an event to, to to synthesize and get some more stuff and uh, so yeah I think actually I'm probably the farthest ahead with will crystals unless somebody caches them directly out of the hot event shop which I guess is not unheard of but um, <laughs> will make me really really sad if somebody caches up that much to just to to catch up but anyway um, so yeah, that's where I've been spending my bound balance. Um, I haven't been doing it on self upgrades. You know, previously, previously I was doing it to get um, a lot of advanced Mahara for my for my sylphs. So yeah. Um, otherwise, I think I'll just leave it there. I'm exhausted, losing my voice, and uh, it's probably time for me to just go voice over Glass Wars and and get everything out. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this month's Class Wars and everything, and uh, if you have any questions about my tune or what plans I have, you know, I do try to be really open about um, how I approach my tune. You know, I was hiding the, the will crystals, but other than that, I really tried to be an open book. I'll probably, you know, hide one or two things to try and um, not show all my cards for Class Wars, but otherwise, I, I really just try and be very open about how I play, and so if you want to know anything, just ask. Take care and have a very good day.